Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new series on this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, Terraria will be back next week. So don't you worry your pretty little head. It'll be back uh, this week, I guess, when this video goes up. Uh, I wanted to try a new series where basically the series ends when I die. I'm doing this on my main playthrough on my main channel, uh, youtube.com slash Grovana with Subnautica. Uh, basically a hardcore mode, and I wanted to try it with a bunch of different games, basically, because it's really fun to me, that idea. So if you want to see more of this, remember leaving likes leaving comments subscribe with the bell turned on all helps out this channel and series to grow thank you to those who do that and consider checking out the patreon and twitch links in the description below without further ado let's see how long i can last in dark souls remastered when i die this playthrough ends new game you can't create any more characters delete an existing character and create a new one you can create up to 10 characters. I already looked through these characters, and I think I'm going to delete uh, Faust, who I think we were trying to beat the game as quickly as I could, which took four hours and four minutes. Uh, yeah, whenever it says Northern Undead Asylum, that probably means I beat the game because that's where you start a new game plus. So we are going to delete Fast and uh, quickly make a new character here. Uh, let's do... I'm thinking female. Let's do... Okay, so again, we got to try to last the longest here. So what do we want? We want overpowered. Warrior, knight, wanderer, thief, bandit, hunter, sorcerer, pyromancer, cleric. Is deprived good for this? Deprived might be good. Maybe we want to shield. I mean, shield is going to help us out, actually. Warrior. I, I barely ever use any of these classes other than deprived, to be honest with you. Uh, am I worried about... Uh, I, I kind of want to play the play style that I'm that I, I usually play. Uh, yeah, what do we do? Hmm, what do we do? Oh, poison. Oh, poison might be good. Maybe we go bandit. Savage bandit, high strength, wields heavy battle axe. Do we go strength weapon? Yeah, maybe we go strength weapon. Vitality is what on the highest for somebody? Vitality is 14 for knight. Low ranking knight, high HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. Do we go with the knight, maybe? Level 5. The bandit's level 4. Uh, it's a little more aggressive, and it starts with that poison shield, which I really like. You know what? Let's do bandit. Gift. Goddess's blessing. Black firebomb. Twin humanities. Binoculars. Pendant. Master key. Tiny bing's ring. Old witch's ring. I think we start with the master key for this one. Physique. We're going to go... Let's see. Average slim. Let's do large. Large marge, perhaps? Yeah, let's go large. What's average look like? Average looks like... Yeah, let's go large, actually. Large face. What do we want here? Let's go with... Uh, the dubious Kareem I kind of like. Let's do dubious Kareem. Hair, what do we got? Let's see. I don't think we want pretty. I think we want tough. What? Yeah, the pigtails is going to be a no. The braids are kind of nice. Yeah, let's go for the braids. Braided. Color, we're going to go. I always make my female color, uh, female characters have dark red color. So we're going to go with that. Then we just need a name. Let's call her... Hmm, Vit... Vit... Vitella. 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 And then let me look up and make sure that this isn't something weird. Vitella. I always have to do that. Vitella Commercial Dough Making Equipment Manufacturer. Uh, Vitella Wiktionary. Female Calf? Okay, that works for me. Yeah, I think we'll go Vitella. Boom. Let's do it. Accept. Okay to start game with this character? Absolutely! In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords 
within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And here we go. We're going to pick up the dungeon cell key that was dropped to us. I got to remember that we are literally one death away from this playthrough ending. I have never beaten this game deathless. If I can somehow do that, that would be unbelievable to me. Uh, people have asked if I would ever do hitless or deathless runs, and the answer is a resounding no, just because uh, I am somebody that gets incredibly obsessed with challenges and succeeding at things, and so it would drive me probably insane. Welcome to Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. There's a roughly 400 million thousand things to explain here if you've never seen this game before. I'm going to adjust the volume up because it is incredibly low here. There's a bonfire. You've probably heard of these. Basically, they are little respite points 
uh, places where you can get a checkpoint and basically reset your progress. Uh, I just realized there is a point where there is a forced death. Also say hi to this big butt beauty. Hello. And we're going to say goodbye to this big butt beauty. <laughs> the boss music's going to come in for roughly one second here. There's another bonfire here. So, yeah, you can run through that. You, it, you can kill that boss, by the way. It is possible to kill that boss. And in this room, you get your starting equipment. So we're going to grab our spider shield here, which if we take a look, uh, this one does weapon type shield, attack type strikes, shield of the savage mountain bandits, uniquely shaped with a large black spider etched upon it. It has resistance to poison. So yeah, uh, we're actually going to shield here, which is crazy. And do we have the fast roll? So yeah, I'm good. I guess this will be a shield playthrough. I don't ever use shields in my playthroughs. Uh, we're going to do a backstab there and grab this, which is going to be our weapon, the battle axe. We're going to roll and equip this really quickly. Battle axe, and then take this guy down. I've never used this weapon before, I don't think, by the way. Okay, down he goes. Uh, let's see. Do we have the slow roll now? We do have the slow roll. I am going to need the fast roll, so we are going to take off our... Brigand gauntlets and there we go just taking off the gauntlets will switch us to a fast roll okay so yeah this is so weird playing dark souls and if i die once the game is over uh mainly the things that i'm gonna be scared about are the bosses and basically never shielding that's the other thing that i'm gonna be scared about i don't ever shield in souls games it's gonna be such a weird thing so there's a boulder here we're gonna wait till it triggers and then roll this way uh, we're also going to be skipping dialogue. Uh, we're going to say yes to this guy. And that is going to give us the Estus Flask, so oh. now we can heal. And we're also going to get the Undead Asylum Floor 2 East no. Key. Yeah, if you want to see dialogue uh, on my main channel, uh, youtube.com slash Grolvana, there is a full playthrough of Dark Souls 1 Remastered, if you'd like to check that out. Uh, we're going to open that up, and then we can go back and rest at the bonfire if we so wish. However, that will just reset things and respawn all the enemies. Hello! Okay, yeah, I've never used this weapon before, so this is going to be kind of weird. Uh, he gave us the key to this, by the way. And, yeah, I've just got to just gotta remember to hold shield, basically. That's the weirdest thing. Hello! Come on and uh, slam if you want to jam. Oh, yeah, this also starts with 100% physical. So if we take a look at the shield... The spider shield. You can see it's got 100% physical uh, defense there, which I couldn't really show off because of this guy. So if we take a look at the middle there, damage reduction percent, 100 physical damage reduction. So that means if we're hit with any physical attack, such as an arrow from this guy, uh, it will block all of it. Now, there's not really a reason to go for stuff we don't need to go to. We're doing a risk mitigation playthrough. So here we go. Boss number one. Let's see if we can do it. Plunging attack. Down goes half of his HP. Hiya. Okay, let's shield and attack when we can. Okay, we blocked all of that, which is kind of crazy. Okay. One and a two. Oh, a little cocky there. Okay, that's fine. So used to two-handing weapons. This is so bizarre to me. Okay, let's see what he does. He's going to jump up and slam down. Okay, we're going to give him a one and a two. Okay, what's he going to do? He's going to do this again. So I'm going to switch to two-handed now and do a running attack like so. And then that is our first boss dead, ladies and gentlemen. The Asylum Demon hath been defeated. We get the big pilgrim's key, which allows us to open this door. We get a humanity times one. Yeah, there is a scripted death in this game. And I'm going to go ahead and say that we're not going to count that if we get to that point. Um, just because, yeah, there's no reason to count something like that, in my opinion, for a series like this. We're going to go around this corner and grab this item here. Also worth of note is there is a uh, trading crow situation to the right over there somewhere. Yeah, you can see the nest right there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if what killed me here was going to be falling to my death, by the way. Just, just to throw that prediction Only out there. In the ancient legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage.
to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Why didn't the bird just fly me to Mount Doom? You know what I'm saying? In Lordran, level up and kindle it bonfires. Oh man, this is interesting because this is going to change the entire way that I play. So we're going to rest there. We're going to talk to this guy real quick. He's got like 14,000 lines of dialogue. I also got to keep in mind that uh, if we progress certain people's quest lines, uh, they might end up being a challenge for me later. But let's exhaust this guy's dialogue. Mm -hmm, and then all that sort of stuff. Bloody hell. Yeah, this guy's got like 14,000 lines of dialogue mm -hmm. here. Okay. Now, how do we do this? So below us is a fire keeper. Normally how I play this game is I would go and... Um, oh, I wonder if we can get ourselves a homeward bone. Oh, I got to be so smart. This is so weird. <laughs> uh, okay. So there's a whole bunch of items around here that we can grab. Um, and there is the, in the direction over there is the, um, the graveyard, which we want to avoid for now. I think we go over here. There's an item in this corner, I do believe, unless we already just grabbed that. Let's go talk to this gentleman here. Hello. Okay, uh, we got to listen to what he says real quick. Hello, I realize, but I also hear, yeah, no. Okay, he gives us a copper coin, which I think is useless outside of selling to a certain entity later on. Um, I have so wood. Uh, yes. Very well. Okay, we're going to join his covenant, which I don't think does much at all, if I remember correctly. No. But he will sell us miracles. We're going to learn his gesture for basically no reason at all. Uh, purchase item, enter covenant, talk, and leave. Let's My talk to him. An undead mission. Show your dedication requires 400 souls. Sure. I, actually, no. I think all this does is give you a hint. I'm afraid that... Yeah, I think that's all it does. Come again. Okay. Bye! Uh, let's see. I ate popcorn earlier, and I'm picking the kernels out of my teeth. Isn't that delicious? Um, what items can we grab here? I know there's more that we can get. Do we grab the item at the edge of this? Or maybe this is where we go to do a certain something. Aha! Firebombs times six. Yes. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried because coming up is a really weird position. Um, and then how do we... Is it over here? There's a way to get past. I think it's over here. Yes. Okay, so if you come up this way, is this smart actually? So we can't activate that just yet. There's an item in this corner, which is going to be a soul of a lost and dead. It's right here. Is it smart? I'm. You know what? I'm not afraid. Um, okay, got to remember how to jump because I've been playing Dark Souls. Okay, it's B on this one. Been playing Dark Souls 3 on my main channel, which again is youtube.com slash So we're going to jump over this way and hopefully not die to the fall. And I'm going to heal because getting back is going to be very, very, very important. We're going to open up that chest to get a cracked red eye orb times four, which is useless for this playthrough. Especially because servers are down. Morningstar and a talisman there. Servers are down for um, Dark Souls 1. We get six homeward bones there, which is very, very helpful. And then over here we get... The Lloyd's Talisman times four. Now, I think I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Uh, you do not want to come to this area early on if you are intending to not die. Uh, that area is god-awful. Very, very, very high chance that we will end up dead. So we are going to say no thank you, and we are going to come over here. Wee! Yoop! And then rest at the bonfire and level up. So... Vitality first, I think, up to 15. And we are super close to another level up. So we're going to level up Vitality. And then we are going to use a Soul of Lost and Dead, which will get us another level up. It's going to give us souls in the bottom right there. We're going to level up Vitality up to 15. Because obviously health is the most important when trying to survive. And here we go. Uh, let's do it. So we're going to head off in this direction. We're basically just going to try to get as far as we can. Now, this area is going to suck. I think it's safer. 
I think it is safer to actually go for kills here. Okay, that guy's dead. If you hear that little shing, that means they're dead. I'm gonna go one and a two. Okay, and then I think we do want to grab that item, but we're gonna hold off because this guy is gonna be throwing fire bombs and is gonna kind of mess things up. Um, in fact, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we're fine. Okay, that guy's dead. There's another guy up the stairs here. We're gonna knock this guy off. Oh, he survived. Okay, we're gonna heal. Okay. Just be very careful. This is a prime spot to accidentally fall to our deaths. And then immediately we're just done. I'm almost tempted to just say, like, if we fall to our deaths, it doesn't count. Just because that's... I just guarantee you the way that we're going to die is either from a boss or falling to our deaths. Um, also, there's an item back there, which we'd have to jump for. Uh, I'm confident that we would make it, but literally it is not worth it at all. It is an item that is useless for this playthrough, now that I think about it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab this. The soul of a lost undead. Yeah, those souls are good because they'll basically give you souls that you can... Um, so we're going to switch to two-handed since this is a vertical area. I'm going to grab that, soul of a lost undead. Uh, scary rat here. If he attacks us, he can poison us. And then we're basically dead unless we get to a bonfire. Okay, and moving right along. What do we have over here? Okay, it's the undead bird. Let's see what this guy does. Yeah, man, this game is so much easier when you use a shield. It's not even funny. Here we go for that guy first. We are very clearly... I don't know why I said clearly. We are very close to a bonfire, by the way. You can roll through those barrels and get stuff down there, but we don't care about that. I'm gonna block here. This guy's gonna throw something. Also, we're triggering backstabs here, uh, which give you iframes. Oh my god, it's, this game is so easy when you shield. I'm not gonna be cocky, I'm just saying. Like, compared to my normal play style of rolling everything. Holy crap. Yeah, I get. Ooh, I guess we could just not even roll, huh? Yeah, we could just block everything. There's a, um, there's an armor set much later in the game that has an incredibly high amount of uh, poise and defense, which we definitely could go for if we make it that far. All right, let's go this way. Big old dragon here. Hello, goodbye. Okay, nice one, one. Okay, that guy's dead, block that, cool. Block that, arrow's coming in. Bam, and a bam. Sidestep the arrow. Sidestep this guy, get iframes from the backstab. Okay, um, there is a merchant to the right, which I'm trying to wonder if we should go and activate now. This guy is going to switch weapons if we get close to him. Um, there is a weapon that the merchant will give us that's pretty good. Do we need anything from him? Yeah, we might as well go check. There might be a couple of things that we want to buy from him, actually. Okay, so let's try and backstab these guys if we can. Oh, okay, I got a little cocky there. Okay, backstab for you. Is that a kill? That is a kill. Backstab for you. Yeah, so basically whenever I play these Souls games, I always, always, always have a style of rolling attacks. There's a guy back here, by the way. Hello. If you could move a little bit forward for me, that'd be great. Okay, one for you and one for you. Yeah, this uh, series also really shows as kind of like a beginner's guide, too. Okay, merchant over here. Hello. Okay, we can purchase items. What do we want? Uh, don't need any of that. Residence key, would that matter? It is important to get keys. I think the repair box is more important, though. Dagger, short sword, scimitar, rapier, hand axe, club, reinforced club. I think this is decent, actually. Uh, what is the requirements? 12 strength, which we definitely have. Uh, this might be better than our than our hand axe. Also, this has bleed, doesn't it? I think this has bleed. Yes, it does have bleed. This might be overpowered. Uh, what does the spear need? 11 strength, 10 dexterity scales with... I think we want to buy the reinforced club, actually. Yeah. Let's buy that. That might be a little bit better early game. And then we already have a decent shield. And then we don't need the chain set either. Okay. Um, Thank you, kind. We're going to go ahead and use our souls as well. Thank you kindly. Soul of a Lost Undead. We'll use all five here. Pop. Pop. 
Okay, and then unfortunately we can't buy... If we kill him, you get a unique weapon, um, but we're not going to kill him. Uh, we are going to switch to the Reinforced Club, which deals bleed damage. And basically, what bleed damage is, is if you deal enough damage, there'll be a little bit of burst attack. A little bit of a burst effect. Now, there's an item around here as well as a guy that climbs up. Oh, I always think the enemies climb up here. We get the wooden shield. Uh, okay, and there's a bonfire coming up. Just got to make sure I don't fall to my death. That is the number one thing. Okay, bonfire over here. So we're going to rest to get some free health. Is it even worth it? It is literally... It is literally not worth it to rest here. Yeah, I think we just keep moving. Okay, so... Run past the fire bombs. We definitely want to shield here and go for backstabs when we can. Okay, that guy's dead. Okay. This guy's dead. We're going to... Oh, yeah, you can click in the right stick to lock on as well, by the way. And then we want to check these guys to see if they drop any items. Now, there is a very important item coming up that we want to loot. Hello! Yeah, so people always ask me for beginner tips for Souls games. The number one tip that I can tell you is always have your shield up. Also, look to the right of these chests, and if the chain is curved, you're good to go. What is back here? Black firebomb. Ooh, black firebombs. Interesting. Forgot that that's what that is when you loot that. Okay, let's go this way. And uh, there's a very important item coming up. Hello, gentlemen. How's it going? Gonna give you one of these if you don't mind. Oh, no! Oh, I accidentally kicked. Not good. Let's get that guy dead. Okay, we're about at half health, which is definitely not where I want to be. Okay, there's some items up there, but we're not going to care about that just yet. Use the master key for this. Oh, I didn't realize the master key opened that up. Very important chest here. Very, very, very important chest. Gold pine resin. Super important. We're going to heal. And then we're going to drop down over here. Hello, gentlemen. Now, there is something super weird coming up that we want to decide if we want to go for or not. Notice all the iframes here. Okay. Uh, another tip. When you have your shield out, your stamina recovers slower. So a little tip is that if you're trying to restore stamina, you can, like, put your shield down in the midst of attacking. Are you just not going to attack? Uh, also, if people have their shield out like this, if you just keep bashing them, they'll usually uh, drop it eventually. And another tip. Flaming barrel over here. So we're going to activate it and then go away from it. Now... I wonder if I should go for it. Should I go for it? Hmm. Is it worth it? It, uh, uh, it genuinely might be worth it. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. So this guy right here is guarding an item. And we want that item. So let's see if we can get it. Shoot. Okay. I want to backstab him. There we go. So that I have some time to go run and grab this. This is the item we want to get. And now we just need to get past him. The blue tier stone ring. Okay. So that actually increases defense if you're low HP. Uh, which could be the determining factor. So we're going to change equipment. Go to our ring slot and equip that blue tier stone ring. And now if we get super duper low HP... We might survive it with that. Okay, this is going well. Uh, there's another little tip up here. If you roll into these, there is a crystal lizard that appears. And you want to take it out. Just like that, because that gets you upgrade materials. Two twinkling tight tonight. And here we go! Okay, this literally could be the end of the playthrough right here. Uh, I mean, any obviously any second could be. But this could be just the the beginning. Yeah, this this could just be it. Uh, you want to climb up here and take these guys out. Definitely a beginner tip there because... A lot of people don't realize these guys are up here. And that makes this next part tricky. We're going to hold just B, which is going to allow us to slide down. And here we go. Oh, this is actually just... This is actually super scary. I just realized mainly because of that right there. Okay, so boss time. 
it's the Taurus Demon. We are going to drag this guy over to where I cannot fall down. Oh my god, he can straight up just knock me down. Okay. We are going to be very careful. Oh man, I... Ugh. Okay, this is really, really, really not good. Um, he can straight up just knock me down. Yeah. All right. Uh, how do I want to do this? Okay, here's a little tip. You can run all the way over here and climb up and then plunging attack him. So we're going to do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. We're going to heal at the top of this. Now, he will jump up and attack you. So we're going to jump off immediately. Hell, yeah. Okay. Cool. Get under him, please. What we want to do is we want to trigger that bleed. Which he might trigger at some point. Where's the bleed? There's the bleed. Okay. Gonna try to plunging attack him to finish him. We should be able to stave off an attack even if he... What I'm just worried about is like getting knocked off. But we're fine. Okay, we're gonna heal because I don't want to die to the fall. And he's like, please kill me. And we're like, okay... That was sick. <laughs> that was super duper sick. Down goes the Tauros Demon. And I guess that's a good place to end. Usually I like my first episodes to go for an hour. But that's probably a good place to end. We will end here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, remember leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribing with the bell turned on are all ways to do that. And uh, consider checking out the Patreon and the Twitch channel in the description below as well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.